What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back, Darsh. What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back, Darsh sneakers. And if I look a little tired, it's because I am. I kind of just woke up. Not really. I woke up earlier, like around the time the presidential inauguration started. And I have no comment on that. But let's keep going on with the video. But before I start, I do want to say I'm doing a raffle on the shoe. It is a Jordan 1 top 3. Every ticket is a dollar each. You are joining a raffle for this shoe. It is a DS, by the way. Never been worn. Never even put on my foot. Or never put my foot in it. Whichever one. There's a total of 300 entries, and right now there's about 260 taken. So make sure to join the raffle before all entries are gone. By the way, I will leave a link on where you can purchase the ticket down in the description below. By the way, if I start sweating in the middle of the video, it's because it's really freaking hot in here. The AC's on, but I have these two hot ass lights in front of me, and then I have the heat from outside just. I have all this heat just radiating around me right now, and I'm already sweating under the shirt. But I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible so I don't look drenched by the end of this video. Also, I do want to apologize for uploading the last video kind of really late. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of did think that the raffle was on Saturday, but it actually ended up being today. And I know I messed up. I'm so sorry, guys. But I already had the video uploaded. All I had to do was publicize it. So I ended up posting it anyways. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Now that I got all that out the way, let's move on with the video. Let me start off by saying, what the hell is Yeezy, Adidas, Kanye, whatever, whoever it is, what the hell are they doing with these shoes? Keeping it like this was not good enough, so they had to put a freaking heel tab on. Like, what the hell? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm just a little disappointed in the fact they put the heel tab on it. But before I go any further, I should start out by saying that, if you don't know already, a brand new colorway of the V2 is releasing on February 11th, which is the date of sneaker con Fort Lauderdale, which is the first sneaker con of the year. As you probably saw from the thumbnail, the shoe is all black just like this. The only thing that's different is the stripe will be black, and then the letters that say SPLY-350, they will be in red and they will be reversed on the right pair and then the left pair will be normal. Honestly, I gotta give it to them. The colorway is pretty dope. I would consider it the pirate black colorway, which is probably what they're gonna call it in the end. I don't know, they don't really have a nickname right now. It's really sick how they have everything in black and then the red letters. It does make it stand out. I'm not gonna do a review on the shoes since I don't have it in hand, but I am gonna tell you a little bit about it, even though you probably you guys have seen the pictures already. Like I was saying before, the only thing I really hate about the shoe is the fact that they're putting a heel tab on it. I mean, I don't hate it that much, but I hate it. It's really ugly, like what the hell? I don't know, the shoe just looks so smooth the way it is. It kind of just flows right here. You guys can kind of just see like the nice curvature of the shoe. But the fact that they put the heel tab on there, something just randomly sticking out, it doesn't look as good. I feel like they could have probably, I don't know, done something unique and maybe put a hole right here and made it easier to like put your finger through and then pull the shoe on. But instead they decided to put this exact heel tab on this shoe. And honestly, I, I just hideous, it's ugly. I don't know. I'm at a loss of words for this shoe. I just feel like the aesthetics of the Yeezys are going down from this point. Like, you can, you can just kind of imagine what it's going to look like. It's going to look like that. Some people like it. I really don't. Like I said, it's just something randomly sticking out. The only thing that's convenient about it is that it's going to make it easier for you to put on your shoe instead of having to grab it by here and pull it on because, I'm not going to lie, this shoe is kind of hard to put on. And if you own a pair, you should know that too. But whatever, that's enough of my opinion on the shoe. Let me know what you guys think about the new V2 down in the comments below. Let me know whether you like the heel tab or whether you like the colorway, what you dislike about it and stuff like that. I'm curious to know as to how many people actually like the shoe. But if you're looking to pick it up, they are releasing February 11th, which I'm assuming for a retail price of 220 like all the other pairs. It might go up a little bit because they put a little more material on the heel tab, so it might go to like 215 maybe, I don't, or 220 I can't do math. But yet I'm in calculus 3, I don't get it. But if Adidas does up the price a little bit more just for putting that little heel tab on there, and that's just ridiculous. And supposedly I heard they're more limited according to Yeezy Mafia. They are saying that the shoes from now on are going to be more limited. But it just doesn't make sense because at this point, Adidas is just getting their hands on more boost material. Which means they can produce more shoes. And that's what they want to do and what they should do just because they can have more people wearing their shoes. And that will raise their sales as well because they'll be selling more quantities. And people in the end will still probably resell them. Even though resell doesn't like really affect them that much. But that's just a whole other topic to talk about point is that they're supposedly going to be more limited on the newer pairs. But if I am able to get my hands on a pair, maybe I might just take that heel tab off to make it look a lot smoother. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by February 11th, which is Sneaker Con Fort Lauderdale. But before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is... Tris Tufoy TV. Make sure to go check out his channel. That is my boy, by the way, guys. He actually was the very first person to come up to me at a local mall when we were there to pick up the red ones. So big shout out to him. Go check him out. All right, now I'm just getting really hot, guys. Like I said, I'm probably gonna start sweating, and I did a little bit already. You guys just can't really see it. But if you did enjoy the video, wait, I already said that. 
Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers sign out. Peace.